Hey, pleasant good morning to you. God is good. Uh, you know, I read from 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 3, first part. It says, without natural affection. Without natural affection. You know, as I look at all that is going on in the world and the wars that, the wars that uh, Jesus Christ predicted in Matthew chapter 24, what bothers me is not soldiers killing soldiers. What bothers me greatly is the displaced children. Uh, what bothers me a lot is that these children, uh, they wake up, they hear siren, they have to move out, they have to run, they have to be separated from the family. Uh, listen, that's tough for them. And some of them would live with that scar that psychological effect that the war has on them. And I'm not only talking about the war that is going on in Ukraine. You can trace it, Afghanistan, Iraq. You, you trace it all over the world. And you know, as I look at that, I said to myself, no doubt that is why many individuals are getting married nowadays. You ask them how many children they want to get. Uh, they give you a very small number or zero because they don't want their children to suffer all of these things however parents listen to this we who are not under war conditions please make it your duty to try your best to love your children uh, they must not lack love and togetherness and sharing and that warmth that children desire and play also they must not lack that. And so today, those of you who have children, whether single parents or uh, whether it is husband and wife together with children, remember that children need your support. They don't need so much material possession, you know. They need your presence and your support. God and Father, help those children who are displaced to have to get a home where they can live peaceful. And those of us who are under normal conditions, help us to show our children love and warmth on a daily basis. Guide us as we go through the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you. There's a land that is fair. Oh